a forest has been successfully grown. Thirty-nine thousand years ago, a budding human being suffered a random genetic mutation. When an egg cell started to form an embryo, there was a DNA replication error. One gene mutated into another. This accident brought irreversible consequences for humanity. Forty millennia later, this gene would be known as what remains. A gene only remains and spreads if its owner is able to eliminate competitors. What remains is a cumulative genetic mutation. Its human replicators evolved into antisocial individuals with psychopathic traits clustered into small, covert communities. Until the gene manifested itself phenotypically. It was then that the great disaster began. Once it ended, technology was lost, violence increased, and the natural selection process accelerated. It was the dawn of a new dark age. But someone did survive. The colonies on the moon and Mars, and the space stations. Exiled mankind survived, recovering Earth technology through risky landings. Until a visionary, Den Aoyama, settled with her followers at a subterranean base on Santa Catalina Island. It contains the techno-womb, where genetically enhanced humans are born. These are the soldiers of HOPE. The reconquest of Earth is their one and only goal. Console, we from the Senate are surprised. This trip to the HOPE base on the island of Santa Catalina was not communicated to us. With the recent passing of Miss Aoyama and the sub... Welcome to HOPE, Console. I am the in the sacred place. There are only 50.
are designed to care for the fetus during its growth, as well as for its immediate care once it leaves the techno womb. In the beginning, we wanted to create perfect humans, but we ended up losing an entire generation because their cell regeneration required too much energy. Another fortunately, Digger 4, this is 2. The radar tells me that you're next door. Why are you still over there? There's nothing there, Digger 4. Rejoin us immediately. Negative, Digger 4. This is an open channel. Please focus. Find the HVT and meet me. We have a little time. Out 2. Out 1.
We can't waste time. We must get those data tablets before the pale sacks get here. If you continue to act like this, this will be your last mission. Orders are to stay together. Down here are deadly creatures. You will do what I tell you. Do not. Here I am not your lover. I am Digger 2, and you are Digger 4. I am your superior, and we have our orders. You are strong and brave, but you are not ready. Your pater should not have brought you. Down here are deadly creatures. You will do what I tell you. Please, we must leave the personal issue out of this. If you continue down that path, this will not end well. We must hurry. BB will guard the door while I review my analysis. Search the rooms upstairs in this house. We've covered the block. This has to be the place. Our prize must be in here somewhere. The dogs may still be far away, but there is always danger. Hurry it up. We are looking for a data tablet in good condition. You should be able to spot it easily, even with all the garbage. One may be your pater, but he has not said anything about its content. However, given the risk we are taking, it must be very important. There's a closed door upstairs. It may be a good place to start. Get to it, then.
Did you find it? It's very unusual to find computer equipment in such good condition. Good work. Let me examine it. Awesome. It still works. Fusion batteries are the best thing ever invented. But it seems that it is encrypted. Let me figure this out. We've learned a thing or two since this old thing was made. Here's a name. It looks like this tablet belonged to one Marcus Mueller, a big shot at Aztec, the European Space Research and Technology Center. Wait, what is this? Oh my god. This... Mueller. This is not good. Vish, you're starting to frighten me. What is it? If this is what Cadvalon was looking for, he had us fooled all this time. This is sacrilege, our destruction. It should be destroyed. Then destroy it. We'll tell him we didn't find anything. Maybe, but... Move Digger 4, and I'll shoot you. Two, we already know what to do with it. No, we follow orders as we were trained to do. This goes up the chain of command. Your pater is searching the building across the street. Take it to him. Those were our orders. But we were also told that if we found something important, we should alert the command center on the ISS. I know when your pater sees this, he will destroy it. See the size of those dogs? We must leave as soon as possible. The pale sacks will attack soon, Ford. Every time I descend to Earth, I can't help but feel nostalgic. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was born before the great disaster, but I never knew this world. Uh, see, I grew up between walls built out of moon dust bricks and helium-3 processors converting the lunar regular. And yeah, I never felt... never felt so comfortable there. I only feel at home when I'm back here. Well, I suppose that's why Vishpala didn't say anything to me on the radio. Let me see what's got her scared. Ha! You see this? She is, without a doubt, the best Sysop I know. Decrypting this shouldn't have been so easy. Well, let's see what it says. Marcus Mueller? I knew it. He took refuge in his mother's house when the world fell apart. From Aztec, yeah, yeah, I know all this. And here's some notes on the project. No, it can't be. Mueller, you may have been crazy, but you were a genius. This far exceeds what I expected. It's so exciting, so important, that I'm shaken with fear. I would never think of destroying this. My fear has nothing to do with what Vishpala may have discovered. I fear for what may happen to me. But above all, I fear for you. You know why we're here? Why we risk our lives more than others? You know why returning to Earth is our only option at this point? That's true, but it doesn't completely answer my question. We must return to Earth because it was the cradle of humankind. It's our home. Take a good look at these once proud buildings. Now, we live in dark times. Progress and ideas are viewed as threats. All freedom has been given up to ensure survival. So, this discovery will certainly redirect my life and yours if not in them. 
Before she died, her mother made me promise that I would take care of you. She thought she was asking me for a favor. <laughs> but really, she gave me a gift. If our people don't return to Earth, it'll be our end. Today's a day that I put on your shoulders a weight that's burdened me. I'm very sorry. I want you to promise me that you'll follow my goal when I'm gone. This cause surpasses all others. Yeah, fate will be unkind if you ever betray a promise made with blood. Now, we gotta worry about safeguarding this data tablet. You know who Den Aoyama is? Don't be taken in by the official propaganda. She was the top geneticist in the colonies. She had the courage to gather those who believed in her and recover an old scientific facility. I wouldn't have expected any less. Den Aoyama and her people are strong enough not to fear retaliation from the Senate and brave enough to know what to do with this data tablet. We must get it to her. Well, I'm in contact with her. I'm going to send her the coordinates to an extraction point where an HOPE transport will come to pick you and the data tablet up. It is of the utmost importance that you keep that data safe. I trust you. I'm so sorry to burden you with this responsibility. I love you. Someday, the sun will shine warmly again on this earth. One, this is six. Eight contacts approaching, 300 meters northwest. Appear to be armed. They must be from the Colonial Transport we saw five minutes ago. Orders? The transport? Here? With a full squad? That makes no sense. Digger! Hold your defensive positions! They may be hostile! Sir, all channels are open. Now they're deploying to attack. Digger 6, Digger 2, hold your weapons. They are friendlies. They have come to pick up what we found. Two, what have you done? Belay that order, Digger! Weapons free! Shit! One, they outnumber us. We'll need support. Six, out. They were fast. Listen to me well. Avoid getting killed, and go to that Hope Transport now. Good luck.
You, stop. What are you doing here? Would you happen to have something to do with the ship that just landed on the roof? Finally, proof that the cat indeed has claws. All right, I won't stop you. But I will be only too happy to nail you when there's an inquiry about this. Now get out of my sight! Talk to Hope 79, Rat. You matched the description they gave me. You sure don't look like much, but you must have something important if they sent me to find you. Hope 79 of the second generation. My partner there is Hope 82. That's me. The most handsome guy of the entire second generation. We'd better get going as soon as possible. What you hear in the background is the howling of the Pale Sax dogs. Alright, but before we get going, I want to see what's so important. Hey, Mr. Handsome! This rat just bared its teeth at me. Say the word and I'll blow the rat's brains out. No! That would make Dinayayama very angry, so shoot its knee. So, what do we have here? Impressive. This data tablet is cursed. It has information that can either change everything or destroy us all. By bringing this to HOPE, you've invited your enemies to destroy us. They won't need any more excuses. Anything necessary, but this is how we'll start. We'll get on the transport, and we'll talk about our common enemies. I believe that the two of us can come to an agreement. They'll give us an advantage. Then Ayayama will see the wisdom in that. Sorry to interrupt your conspiring, Sekator, but we should go right away. Down there... They're about to kill each other, and the Pale Sacks will be quick to take advantage. Come here and see for yourself. I'll let you use my binoculars. As Secutor said, the data is cursed. It's about to take its first casualties. Go with him, but hurry it up. We leave him too. Look down there, Rat. They've been arguing for a while now. They all look very agitated except the old man. He seems to be trying to calm things down. With humans, emotion always wins. If someone loses their temper, there will be a fatal shooting. This is not going to end well.
You're not going anywhere, rat. My mission is to ship you alive. You can thank Dinayayama when we get back. Let's go. Your creators will be pleased with your recovery, Hope 279. Everything indicated that you are not going to survive your birth. My name is Prometheus, the AI that will guide you through your first steps outside the Techno Womb. You must be hungry and thirsty, but before continuing, please read the messages on your terminal. You have a message from Bodo Canabroy, the first brother, our Magister. Then, when you leave, you will enter a lounge containing food and drink. You may be interested to know that the apples there are from Mars. Eating and drinking will reduce the hunger and thirst bars in the lower left corner of your curb's display. When you have finished in the lounge, go down the hall through the green door. Well done. Do you feel tired? It is one of the drawbacks of living in a physical body. That confirms what your curb indicates. It is the Bioware monocle implanted during your birth. It fits perfectly around your eye and is hardwired to your brain. We call it curbed. <laughs> 